Hello, girl. Hi. This group chat is kind of boring, so I wonder if I can add my bestie? Sure, why not? No, no I mean yes of course darling. Mind, what no no no. What if she is it hot, what if she is cute, oh my god stop Alvin I'm in a relationship. Oh sorry of course darling. Sorry I'm tired. Yay. Mira is added to the chat. Hi B ties. Hi girl. We should introduce ourselves. Bet. Okay, I will start the my name is Elijah and I'm 18 and this is me. Handsome bro. You look great Elijah. Wow cute. Thank you guys. My name is Tilda. I'm 17 and this is me. My love. You look so beautiful. Stunning bestie. Wow. Gorgeous. I'm Alvin, 19. And this is me. Ah uh, guys you are matching but handsome though. Thanks girl. My hair was red though. Now it's pink that I will dye it soon. You look so handsome baby. Bro you're cool as fuck I can't handle it haha <laughs> let's date. Thank you guys and of course bro. Ha 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 ha. Your laugh girl that it's so cute. But yeah. I'm Vera, 17 and this is me. Mind, damn, she's blonde that I hate my life, ugh she's so pretty but I love Tilda. Girl, you look so good as always. Stunning. Yeah. Wow. Thank you guys. By the way, Tilda and Alvin how long have you been together? We met at school like 5 years ago duh. I'm turning 18 next week and it's our 4 years anniversary too. Yes duh, that's weird because we have broken up so many times because of me. What have you done then? Let's not talk about it. Okay sure. Mind, she can't know what I have done. If she finds out, she won't date me. Alvin, what the fuck? I'm taken. God help me. But that's true love then. Yeah. I'm so happy for you. Aw, thank you bestie. Alvin, I swear if you hurt that girl will beat your ass off. Mind, what if that happens with you? I won't hurt her. Just remember what I said. Haha, <laughs> I love you Vera. Love you more bestie. That's cute. Chill out guys. Guess someone is jealous. Haha. <laughs> ha. Mind, just because of you girl. Nah, I'm not. Ha 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 don't lie. Mind, oh gosh her laugh is so cute. Alvin that's truly okay, ha ha. But I'm not jealous that I'm with my bro. Yeah you girls. Ha 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 ha, my stomach hurts because of laughing. Sorry babe. Sorry babe. Sorry babe. Elijah, nobody is your babe. So shut the fuck up. Ouch. I'm so sad ha. Huh? Guys I got to go. Me too. Bye. Bye. Mind, that was weird. I guess I'm just overthinking but that was so sus. Tilda. Oh what? Are you okay? I'm just overthinking. So. Yes, I am. Thank you for asking though. Okay girl, do you want to play something? Yes, why not? Join me. Meanwhile, with Alvin and Vera. Vera. What? I just wanted to say that you are very pretty and your laugh is amazing. Thanks, I guess. But what about Tilda? You literally chased me and you left her alone. She is literally your girlfriend and my bestie. She is with Elijah so everything is okay. Why do you care so much? Stupid. Like I said, she is literally my best friend and I care about her. Yeah, she's also my girlfriend and I care about her too. So where's the point? In your ass idiot. Haha <laughs> don't be ridiculous. Sorry mommy. LOL but now I have to leave, you should go back now. I guess you are right. See you. Oh my god. 
What was that? What if Alvin likes me? Oh my god, I'm scared. Maybe I'm just overthinking and he just wanted to be nice for once. No. Maybe I just should tell Tilda about this. She will get upset. Oh my god. I guess I have to talk with Alvin again. Shit. Oh my god. I just maybe found out why they have broken up so many times. Fuck. Shit. Shit. I will just go back to the group chat. Shut up. Babe. That was a joke. Vera joins. I don't care. That's not even funny for real. Hi guys. What's up? Nothing. Nothing. They are bullying me. Elijah scares me that Alvin was talking to another girl and leaves me because of her. Mind, oh my god. I really hope that Alvin shuts his mouth because I don't want to lose Tilda because of his feelings. I have to talk with him as soon as possible. Vera? Oh sorry, boys shut up, you don't want to know what happens to you if you bully my bestie. Mind, yes, I want to know darling. Okay. Okay. Tilda, I'm sorry. Me too. Thank you for always being by my side. Yeah, thank you. You are a really good friend. Don't leave us. Mind, fuck please. She is too kind. I don't want to hurt her. Love you guys, and of course Tilda that I won't leave you that I will always be here for you, Evan, if you hate me. Why would I hate you? You are my best friend. DM me now. Mind, oh my god that that's not a great idea. Indirect message. Are you okay? Are you hiding something? Yes. I mean no. So you are not okay, or what you are hiding from me? Vera, you can tell me everything da, I'm literally your best friend. Tilda I promise I'm not hiding anything. Vera, you sound like you are scared, please don't lie to me. Mind, fuck. Fuck, fuck that I have to tell Vera, but I won't tell everything because then she maybe can forgive me. Please tell me. Tilda, your boyfriend Alvin isn't loyal to you. What do you mean? He isn't perfect, but we have built this relationship to this level, the IT wasn't that easy. Lovely Tilda, you don't understand. What I don't understand, please just say if you don't like him, don't just come and talk shit about our relationship and try to steal him from me. That's not fair Da, I thought that you are my best friend. I am very disappointed on you. Why are you acting like we are such a good couple if your opinion isn't even like that, fuck you, Vera. And now leave our group chat alone, Da, DM me if you have something nice to say. Tilda left the chat. Oh my god. Why I didn't just tell her. Now I messed up and she hates me that I have to explain this later to her. Mind, oh my god here we go. Boys, oh my god guess what? 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 Vera tried to ruin our relationship, she tried to talk shit about Alvin. Mind, oh my god huh? What the fuck? What do you mean? Yes just tell us, honey. Just tell us, honey duh, I didn't let her explain, but she just said that Alvin isn't loyal to me, such a bitch. I'm so done for her bullshit. What the fuck? Where she is now? I told her to leave this GC alone, and she can DM me if she has something nice to say. Like I know our relationship isn't perfect, but it's okay for us. Mind, thank god Vera didn't tell her anything. What the fuck is wrong with her, Tilda, I love you to the moon and back. Yeah, she was suspicious for real and maybe now she realized to leave you guys alone. Ah, uh, Alvin, I love you too, and I really hope that she won't bother you anymore. She won't, I promise. Thank you, my love. She isn't even online right now. Thank God. Good. Guys, it's almost midnight that I think we should go to sleep. You right, Elijah, guys, if Vera tries to talk with you, please let me know first. Of course, my love that I will tell you everything. Yeah, me too. I knew I can trust you guys, love you both, good night, and see you tomorrow. Good night, my love. 
Sleep well. Yeah, good night, Tilda. The next morning. I miss my friends, maybe I just should try to text them that I think Elijah would answer to me. I'm scared. She sent a message to Elijah. Now let's just wait for an answer. I'm stressed. Okay, we'll just go offline. A week later. Oh my god. Finally. It's my birthday and our four years anniversary. I miss Vera, but she's so toxic. That stupid witch can't ruin me day. Wait. Alvin and Elijah are awake finally. In the group chat. Hi, guys. Hi. My love and happy birthday that I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Yeah, happy birthday, Tilda and happy anniversary to you both. Thank you, Elijah. Yeah, thank you, bro. Guys, wait a minute. What? Vera sent me a voice message. Send it to us. Elijah sent them a voice message. I need to talk with Tilda. She is my best friend and I really care about her, yes, I messed up because I didn't explain what I was saying da so, Tilda misunderstood, please do not block me that I really want to explain. I miss her and also say this to her, happy birthday lovely bestie and fuck you, Alvin. You almost ruined everything, you are a fucking ugly fugly gorilla, you look like a blue gorilla that I hate you, Tilda, please give me a change to explain. Mind, God, please help me. Tilda will broke up with them if she gives Vera another chance. Okay, add her. No, please don't. Elijah added Vera. Oh my god. Thank you, Tilda. Now just explain. I gotta go. Alvin, don't even try to run away. You are just trying to make drama. Go away, you piece of shit. Alvin, shut up and stay here, let her explain. Mind, fuck 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 fuck. Okay so. Tilda. Wait. What? 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 I might be crazy, but I just heard someone saying me name. Are you sure love? Alvin, stop acting. You don't even care about her. Shut up. Tilda, are you okay? No, I'm not. Shut up. Vera. What's wrong my love? I just fucking told you guys. I think you're just tired. Maybe, but I'm scared. Tilda, leave this group chat right now that I have to tell you something. Again have to go by. I think I'm just crazy or something, maybe I just go to sleep again. You are not crazy, Tilda. What? How do you know my name? And who the fuck are you? I cannot tell you but I'm Ivan, I need to tell you something. Okay. Ivan, where are you hiding, show your avatar to me. I'm not hiding and I cannot show myself to you yet but I have a gift for you. Okay, you are scaring me. Can you just talk and let me go? Don't be scared. I'm not going to kidnap or kill you. Tilda, you have to believe me, you have a superpower. What? I have a power? What the fuck? Don't lie to me. Just believe me that I just wanted to help you. Why you wanted to help me, and what's my power then? Because people aren't honest to you, and I have stalked you for a long time, you are such a good person and you are always so kind to everyone, this power helps you to see who is your real friends and who is not worth of your time, you are too young to be hurt. Thank you I guess. What's my power then? You can read people's minds now. They can't hurt you and you can always come to talk with me, just say my name and I will come to help you. By Tilda. Oh, my god. Ivan. Thank you. Oh my god, what just happened? I will keep this as a secret Ivan, if you can hear me thank you. I really want to see your face one day. Now I'm ready to go back to the group chat. I'm not going to tell them the truth, so I just tell them a little lie. Good girl. My little princess. Blushes. Oh my god. Finally you are back. Mind, ugh now Vera will ruin everything, why I even try to flirt with her, she is such a bitch, but I still kind of love her. 
What the fuck? Tilda, are you okay? Oh, sorry. Yes, I'm just tired. Mind, I fucking swear if she tells her something I will kill her whole family, okay, not gonna happen, but I just want her so bad. Mind, oh my god. I'm so stupid dot of course he was cheating on me. I'm so blind. Love, I think you just should go to sleep. Mind, you don't call me that, you stupid ugly whore. Maybe you are right. What happened to the voice you heard? Nothing. I will tell you guys later. Okay, can I finally explain? Mind, no, you can't. Lovely Vera, why don't you just understand that I fucking love you? Mind, shut up. Oh my god. Guys, can I just explain? Wait, Vera, I will private chat you first, I need to tell you something. Okay. Elijah, I need a favor. What it is then? Make sure that Alvin doesn't run away, okay? Before I chat with Vera, I need to talk with Ivan. <laughs> Ivan, are you here? Hey girl, what's up? Hi, it is okay if I talk with Vera and tell her about you. Of course. I mean sure, but I don't know would she believe you. But love, I'm sorry about Alvin. He's such a jerk. And I heard what you said last time. I will show my avatar to you as soon as possible. I am not ready yet. Ah, thank you, Ivan, thank you for supporting me. I know Vera will believe me because she is my best friend and she isn't a bad person like Alvin. Just be careful, see you, Tilda. See you. In private chat. Finally. Vera, if I tell you something, would you believe me? Of course. Just tell me bestie. Okay. Do you remember when I heard someone's voice? Yes. Of course. That was a guy called Ivan. This sounds unbelievable. I know. But he warned me about Alvin. I got a power. Yeah, that's crazy. I know. But I can read mind. So I know that Alvin is cheating on me with you. Tilda, are you okay? I mean that's crazy. Yeah, I know, but that's true. But I'm not flirting with Alvin. Yeah, he tried, but I'm not interested. MHMN, but Alvin said he loves you. Ivan said that my power is a gift from him. I'm glad that he gave it to me. Because now I finally know what Alvin is doing behind my back. But have you flirted with Ivan? No. I don't even know how his avatar looks. I really want to know though. He is so kind. But that's crazy. But Tilda, please forgive me. I really wanted to tell you. It's okay, everyone deserves a second chance, not Alvin though. Thank you. Let's go back to the group chat. Yeah. Now I will expose my lovely ex-boyfriend. Now Vera, it's your turn to explain. Explains everything. That's not true, love, you need to believe me. Wow, bro. Alvin, shut the fuck up. Also explains everything. What the fuck? Don't lie, you ugly fugly musty bitch. Don't ever like never call her like that. Who the fuck are you? It's not your business, man. Ivan? Is that really you? Yeah, it's me, love. Are you cheating on me with that blonde head frog? What the fuck is happening? Explains everything. And Tilda is my soulmate. She is not. Okay, ugly frog. What do you mean? Shut up. I found it out like one year ago. It was so hard to even find her. But I have stalked her. With my power, I can be invisible. I gave that power to her because I wanted her to see who you really are, you are a walking red flag. Tilda, I fucking hate you, you cheated on me with this fatherless frog. Shut up, Alvin, Tilda haven't done anything wrong that it isn't even cheating if Ivan tries to help her. Yeah, bro, calm down. You are the one who tried to cheat on her. 
Yeah, dot as I said earlier, he only tried to help me, and now I understand why, Alvin, what is wrong with you? We were together so many years, you cheated on me several times, I gave you a many new chance to change, nothing happened. It feels like I just wasted so many years for nothing, I really loved you, why did you do this to me, what I did wrong? Because I don't even love you that I love Vera. You have a big problem that I do not love you. How could I ever love you? After all this? Is it wrong to fall in love with your ex-girlfriend's best friend? That's what I thought. Yes, it is. Because you was in a relationship with the most amazing person ever. She really cared about you. But that's not our fault. Get out, you pig. Thank you, Elijah. I love you as a friend of course. I know, Tilda. And I love you too. Now get out, you big ass fatty. You hurt my love and I won't forgive you. Do I look like I give a fuck, and do I look like I need your apologies? No. That's what I thought. Oh my god. He's such a jerk and annoying. Please block him now. Ha 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 ha. I've been blocked Alvin from the group chat. Ugh. Why I'm crying over a jerk who doesn't even love me? Because sweetheart, you really loved him. It's truly okay love. Take your time that it's not easy to forgive your first love. But I will promise one thing. We won't leave you alone, you can trust us. Yeah. Tilda, we will always love you. So don't worry about us. Of course you can text us if you want to talk. But for your mental health, it's better not to be online for a while. Yeah. Take your time, hun. Ah, uh, thank you guys. I really love you guys, and thank you Ivan. Bye. Bye. After four months, Tilda started to play Roblox again and became a couple with Ivan. The end. <laughs> Story 2 Hey BFF A uh, hi Can I? No I haven't finished yet I don't care Please let me finish Fine what? Can I add my other friends? Are they at least rich? Since when do you care about that? Since today I bought Roblox noob Wow you look so good BSF don't call me BSF. We aren't friends anymore, Sean. Wait, what? Why? Because you're poor, duh. But. Go cry to your poor friend's loser. Bye. Wait, wah. I can believe she did that. It's okay. I guess I still have Isabel and Luca. I'll go see find them now. Hey, guys. Hey. Hi. Is there something wrong, Sean? Yeah, my best friend just left me because I'm a noob, but it's okay. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Do you want some Robux? No. It's okay. ABC to be in a friend group. Let's keep lonely. Oh my god. Should we join? Sure. ABC. Thinking, HM, she has the same avatar as Addison. Oh my god, yes. You guys are rich. E.W. What's wrong? There's a bacon. And? He's our friend. Really? Um, it's okay. Then I guess. Well, uh, name, age, and face reveal. We just want to make sure you're not a kid or old lol. I'm sure whatever. I'm Isabel. I'm 15 and this is me. Wow, well, you're so, so gorgeous, BSF. OMG. Well, I'm Luca. I'm 15 and here's me. Well, yes. cute, oh my god. I'm Addison. I'm 16 and here's my face. Nice. I'm wait, it is her. It's your turn, loser. I mean, uh, you over there. Addison, it's you. Ah, 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 ah. 
What are you talking about? Don't you remember me? No? Why would I even know an ugly bacon? I mean, uh, ick you. Sean, what's happening? She's the girl that I was talking about earlier. The one that left you because you were poor. Me. I have no idea what he is talking about. I would never do anything like that. You must have confused me with someone else. But you look exactly the same. You know what, maybe you're right. Yes, I am. Well, uh, how that sorted wanna play something? I would but I got to go. Wait actually I got to go too. Sorry guys. See ya Addison and Sean. Bye. Wait before you go. I need to ask something. What uh, is okay, it? Okay sure. Can you guys give me Robux? Baha. Uh -huh. Funny joke Addison aha. Uh -huh. It wasn't a, I mean a uh, yeah. Ahaha. Uh -huh -huh. So funny. I Seriously, actually got I to go, go now, now. Uh -huh. Bye. Whatever. Bye. All Wait, right, actually, Sean, I don't. you listen to me. Screen records. If you tell them about anything that happened, you're gone. What the hell you really expect me to just let you get away with this? Yeah. And why is that? What are you gonna do about it? If they find out, I'll get my friend to hack both of them. Go ahead. I bet you don't even have any other friends. I'm being serious. If you ruin this for me, I'll make sure it happens. Got it? Yeah. Not acting brave anymore. Are you? Ahaha. Uh -huh. Now what? Don't worry Sean. I saw it all. Wait Luca. I thought you had to go. I thought I had to. But I didn't. But you saw it all. See I was telling the truth. I know. And I screen recorded it too. Really great. Now we can show Isabel. Yeah okay. I'm sure she believes you anyways though. I'll call her. Hopefully she comes back online. Calls Isabel. <laughs> Hey Isabel. Hey Sean. I'm eating my dinner. What's up? Oh, uh, sorry ISA, but is there any way you can come online? We have to show you something. I'm okay, I guess. Hey Sean. What's going on? There's a video we want to show you. It's about Addison. Uh, okay. What is it? Here. Shows her the video. Oh my god. What the hell? I know right. Well what should we do now? We can't kick her. She said she'd hack you guys if you found out. We can maybe pretend that you didn't tell us. And try catch her out ourselves. That's a good idea. But how are we gonna catch her? I have an idea, just wait until she comes back. Okay. 15 minutes later. Hey guys. Oh, hey Addison. I just realized it's really late. So I should go. MHM me too. Bye. Isabel and Luca watched secretly. Sean you didn't say anything. Did you? No. That's what I thought. Well, I need you for something actually. What? I need you to get Robex from Isabel and Luca and give it to me. And remember, I have a friend who hacks. So if you don't want to help then... Addison, we're still here, you know. Wait, what? Uh. It was a, a joke. No, it wasn't. Yeah. Stop trying to get out of it. Ugh, fine. It wasn't a joke. But whatever. I'll just leave. Say goodbye to your accounts. Yeah. Yeah, okay. A uh, great that stupid noob ruined everything. I need to call Mark to deal with this. She calls him. Hey Mark. Addison, what is it? You only call when you want something. Okay. Um, yeah. I need you to do something for me. 
What now? Can you please hack some people for me? Please? No, I don't do that anymore. I beg you. Please I really need this done. Why what did they do to you? They didn't. Give me Robex. Addison that's stupid. I'm not hacking an innocent person. So you can get some Robux. Mark, please 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 please. Okay fine. I'm not doing it for free thought. Ugh fine. How much do you want? Ten thousands Robux. Are you serious? Yep. Fine. She gives it. Thanks. What are their usernames? Is 4 Belst 4 R Star and 1 U underscore C A. MHMK. LOL she really thinks I'm gonna hack some random people for no reason. I think I should just hack her instead TBH. But first I have to find those people. And tell them about it. Hi, are you Luca and Isabel? Uh yep who are you? Well do you guys know Addison? Yeah. Well she paid me to hack you guys. But I'm not going to do it. I want to help you guys. Ha! Huh. How are you gonna help us? Wait, hold on. Who are you? I'm Sean. I used to be Addison's friend. Oh, okay. Well, what I was trying to say is. I can hack her instead of you guys. And give you her stuff. Because I know you did nothing wrong. That's a good idea. But you should give all the stuff to Sean. He deserves it more. Oh okay then. Follow me guys. I'm gonna do it. Okay. okay. Hey Addy. Oh my god, hey Mark, did you do it? Uh yep. And I got all their Robux and stuff go. Yeah good. Can you give it to me? Well, I need your password to put all the stuff in your account so. I'm sure I guess. It's. Hello? Oh my god what the hell. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What are you guys doing here? Mark, I thought you hacked them? What's going on? Well Addison like is said. I don't hack people for no reason. So this is karma I guess. How could you? How could you more like? You're so rude and ever since you got Robux. You just became a different. And you just threw away our four year friendship like it was nothing. Okay whatever. I'm sorry. Just give my stuff back. It's not even your stuff. You just beg other people for it. Wait. Isabel has kicked Addison. Thanks Mark. NP. I better go guys CYA. Wait. Wanna be friends with us? Oh my god really? Sure. They stayed good friends and lived happily. The end. Story 3. In a group chat. Hey everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Alex. Your place looks so festive. Yeah. You really went all out with the decorations. Thanks, guys. I thought we could do something special tonight. Maybe watch a Christmas movie? That sounds great. I've got a list of classics we can choose from. Perfect. And, hey, I brought some homemade cookies. Cookies? You're my hero, Jamie. Well, aren't you the Christmas miracle worker? All right. Settle down, you too. Let's not forget the spirit of giving. Did everyone bring a small gift for our secret Santa exchange? I did. But no peeking until we're all settled with the movie. Secret Santa? I totally forgot. No worries, Chris. We can always improvise. It's the thought that counts. True that. Now, what about after the movie? Anyone up for some board games? Board games? I'm in. Board games and cookies. Count me in too. Alright. I guess I can endure a few rounds. Fantastic. 
This is shaping up to be the best Christmas ever. Agreed. It's not about where you are, but who you're with. To good friends and festive fun. Cheers to that. Merry Christmas, everyone. Okay, so what Christmas movie should we watch? How about Home Alone? Classic choice. I'm always up for some Kevin McAllister antics. What do you think, Taylor? Ready for a little holiday mischief? As long as it's not me getting left behind, sure. All right, time for the big reveal. Jamie, you're up first. Okay, okay. My secret Santa is... Chris. Sweet. Let's see what you got me. Wow, time flies when you're having fun. What's next on the agenda? Board games. I've got a stack of classics ready to roll. Let the games begin. Okay, okay, I admit it. This was a pretty awesome way to spend Christmas. Thanks, guys. Now, who's up for a round of charades? Frosty the Snowman. Countdown to New Year's Eve. Gift wrapping. Ho, ho, ho. Santa Claus. This has been an amazing night, guys. Thanks for convincing me to join in. Yeah. I have to admit, I was wrong about staying home. This was way better. Does that mean you'll join us for Christmas again next year? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. But maybe. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay, guys, gather around. It's game time. Truth or dare? Bring it on. I'm ready for anything. Famous last words, Alex. Let's do this. But can we keep it somewhat PG? All right, now let's step it up. Truth or dare? Dare, of course. I dare you to call your crush and confess your feelings. Seriously? Fine. I'll do it. This is gonna be epic. Taylor's got some guts. Spill it. What happened? Voicemail. But at least I left a message. Brave effort. All right, my turn. Truth or dare? Truth. Have you ever cheated in a game like this? Okay, maybe once. But only because the dare was too ridiculous. This is the best game night ever. We should do this more often. Agreed. It's like therapy, but with more laughter. Definitely. Here's to friendship, honesty, and ridiculous dares. That game was a blast. I can't believe some of the things we admitted to. Yeah, it was unexpectedly therapeutic. Who knew truth or dare could be so revealing? Especially when someone dares you to confess your feelings. Can we please move on from that? I think I've suffered enough embarrassment. What if we add a wild card round next time? Something totally unexpected. Like what? I don't know, maybe bring in a mystery guest or introduce a random element into the game. That could be interesting. Keep things unpredictable. We should make a list of epic dares for the next game. Something that pushes our boundaries. Agreed. And we should come up with questions that really make us think during the truth rounds. I love how we're turning this into a strategic planning session. Well, why not? If we're going to play, let's make it epic. To friendship and the adventures that come with it. Cheers. 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 We need to focus. These exams are crucial, and I feel like nobody's taking them seriously. What are you talking about? We're all here, aren't we? Lena, chill. We're studying, aren't we? It's not like we're goofing off. Maybe Alex has a point. We could be more efficient with our time. We need a plan. We can't afford to waste time on irrelevant topics. Alex, not everyone studies the way you do. We all have our methods. Yeah, 
Some of us don't need to spend every waking moment buried in books. Let's find a compromise. We can create a study schedule that works for everyone. I just don't get why you guys don't take this as seriously as I do. We can't afford to fail. We're not saying we don't care, Lena. We just have different ways of approaching things. Can we please focus on studying instead of arguing? Maybe we should take a break. Clear our heads and come back to this. Maybe I was too harsh. We all want to do well, but we have different styles. Let's find a compromise. Taylor, you can lead the study sessions, and we'll try to be more focused. And we can schedule breaks to avoid burnout. I appreciate your willingness to compromise. We're a team, and we need to support each other. Agreed. Let's make this study session count. And maybe, just maybe, we can all survive this exam season in one piece. Teamwork makes the dream work. Right? All right, let's focus on our individual strengths. Alex, you're great at understanding complex theories. Can you help us with this one? Sure, Jamie. I can break it down for you guys. You're the master of organizing information. Can you help us create a study guide? Absolutely. I'll put together a comprehensive guide for each topic. This feels much better, doesn't it? Definitely. We just needed to find a way to work together without all the drama. Teamwork really does make a difference. How about we take a break and grab some snacks? We've been at this for a while. Sounds good. Let's recharge and come back with fresh minds. Sorry if I seemed dismissive earlier, Chris. We're in this together, right? No hard feelings, Ethan. I appreciate your willingness to compromise. And I promise to keep our study guides concise and organized. Maybe we should make this a regular thing, studying together. Definitely. We can play to each other's strengths and support one another. Who would have thought studying could be almost fun? It's a Christmas miracle. I have to admit, studying together has made a huge difference. We're covering more ground, and I'm not as stressed. Teamwork for the win. And who would have thought that Mia's study guides could be so helpful? I'm actually looking forward to the next exam. Glad I could be of assistance. Maybe I should consider a career in study guide writing. We deserve a treat after that study marathon. How about we grab some dinner? I'm in. My treat this time. Must be feeling rich today. Let's go before he changes his mind. You know, we make a great team. What if we consider taking on a group project together next semester? That's not a bad idea. We could leverage each other's strengths in a different setting. Count me in. It sounds like a challenge, but a fun one. And it would be a great way to apply what we've learned about teamwork. Who would have thought that our arguments about studying would lead to this? It just goes to show that sometimes disagreements can spark positive change. And look at us now, acing exams and conquering projects like pros. I'm grateful for all of you. Our journey from arguments to collaboration has been quite the adventure. I can't believe we're even having this conversation. It's like a soap opera, and I didn't sign up for it. It's not as simple as you think. Emotions are complex, and people make mistakes. Look, let's just try to understand each other's perspectives. We're all adults here. Can we please not turn this into a shouting match? We're supposed to be friends. You both knew how I felt about Liam, and yet... It's not about trying to hurt you. It just happened. I never meant for any of this to happen. I care about both of you. Maybe we should take a step back and figure out how to move forward without hurting anyone even more. How do you expect me to just move forward? This is a betrayal. We're all responsible for this mess. Blaming won't solve anything. Can we at least try to find a solution that doesn't end our friendship? I agree. We need to find a way to navigate through this without destroying what we have. I need time to process all of this. 
I can't make any promises right now. I never wanted things to be like this. I'm sorry. I never meant to come between you two. Let's take a break from each other for a while. Maybe some time apart will help us figure out how to move forward. I've had time to think, but I'm not sure I can just forget about what happened. I'm truly sorry for the pain I've caused. I value our friendship, and I never wanted to jeopardize it. Maybe we can find a way to move forward, but it's going to take time and effort from all of us. Maybe we can try to move past this, but I need some reassurance. I'm here for you. I messed up, and I'll do whatever it takes to make things right. I never wanted to hurt anyone. I'm truly sorry for the pain I've caused. Let's focus on rebuilding trust, one step at a time. I want to move forward, but every time I see you two together, it feels like a constant reminder. I understand. We'll give you the space you need. It's important to us that we find a way to make amends. Healing takes time. Let's be patient with each other. Relationships are complex, and rebuilding trust takes time and effort from all parties involved. Communication and understanding are key. I guess we need to be more open with each other about our feelings. And learn from our mistakes. We can't change the past, but we can shape our future. Thank you for helping us navigate through this. Let's commit to the process and support each other through the healing journey. I appreciate that we're making progress, but I still need time. Take all the time you need. We're here for you. And for each other. Let's continue supporting one another. We've come a long way, and I believe we can emerge from this stronger. Healing is a process, and it requires open communication and a willingness to understand each other's perspectives. Take the time to express your feelings and actively listen to one another. I've realized that I need to let go of some of the anger and pain to truly move forward. I appreciate your honesty, Sophie. And I'm committed to doing whatever it takes to rebuild our friendship. I know I hurt both of you, and I'm genuinely sorry for the pain I caused. Let's focus on the future and the positive changes we can make. I felt betrayed, but I also acknowledge my role in this. I want to move past it, but it's hard. I never intended for any of this to happen. I should have been more aware of the impact on our friendship. It was a mistake, and I regret it deeply. I value both of you as friends. We can't change the past, but we can choose how we move forward. Let's learn from this and be better friends. I'm willing to work towards rebuilding our friendship, but it will take time. Thank you. I appreciate your willingness to try. I understand that trust needs to be earned. I'm committed to being a better friend. Let's focus on the positive changes we're making. We've come a long way. I can see that we're making progress. It feels good to have hope for the future. I'm grateful for the chance to rebuild our friendship. It means a lot. Our journey is far from over, but I'm committed to being a better friend and learning from our mistakes. Let's continue supporting each other and focusing on the positive changes we're making. Alright, let's get started by dividing the tasks. Can you two handle the research part? Sure. I'll focus on gathering data and statistics. And I'll look into relevant case studies. What about me? You can be in charge of creating the presentation slides. Make them visually engaging. I think we should focus more on the historical context. It adds depth to our presentation. I think the audience will be more interested in current trends and examples. We need to keep it relevant. Okay, let's find a middle ground. Include a brief historical overview but emphasize recent developments. Can we just decide on something and move forward? We're wasting time arguing. We need a solid foundation. We can't rush this. If we spend too much time on history, we'll lose our audience's interest. Let's take a step back. We need a balance. Can we at least agree on the key points? We're all on the same team here. Fine, let's move on. But I still think we're missing an essential aspect. It's not ideal, but let's keep going. 
We can refine it later. Great. Now, let's discuss the structure of the presentation. We're all stressed about this presentation, but we're a team. Let's find a way to make it work. You're right. We should focus on the end goal. Agreed. Let's get through this and then evaluate what worked and what didn't. That's the spirit. We're a team, and we'll make this presentation shine. See, we're making good progress now. Our diverse perspectives are turning this into a well-rounded presentation. I guess finding a middle ground did help. Those visuals are really making the information pop. Teamwork, right? This experience has taught us that sometimes disagreements can lead to a better outcome. Yeah. We just needed to learn how to navigate through our differences more effectively. And we still managed to keep the positive atmosphere within the group. Who knew preparing for a presentation could be this dramatic? All right, we've put in some good work today. Let's take a break and come back to it with fresh eyes. Agreed. A little breather will do us good. And we can reconvene with a clearer perspective. I'm proud of what we've accomplished so far. Let's make this presentation one to remember. Okay, let's get back to it. We're on the home stretch. I've got some ideas for the conclusion that ties everything together. And I found a great quote that we can use to leave a lasting impression. Let's bring it home, team. I'm proud of what we've created. This presentation reflects all of us. It was a journey, but we made it work in the end. Thanks for finding common ground, everyone. We might have started with disagreements, but we finished as a solid team. To us, the dynamic team. To, to us. us. Can we at least agree on the key points? We're all on the same team here. Fine, let's move on. But I still think we're missing an essential aspect. It's not ideal, but let's keep going. We can refine it later. Let's take a break and come back with fresh minds. Okay, let's get back to it. We're on the home stretch. I've got some ideas for the conclusion that ties everything together. And I found a great quote that we can use to leave a lasting impression. Taylor, your place is so cozy. Thanks for having us over. Of course, guys. Make yourselves at home. My family's out for a bit, but they should be back soon. Your family has some impressive taste in decor, Taylor. Yeah, it's a lovely place. So, what's new, everyone? Hey, everyone. Hope I'm not interrupting. You're back early. No worries, you're never an interruption. These are my friends, Alex, Jamie, and Chris. Nice to meet you all. Taylor has told me so much about you. Likewise. So, what's the occasion for your early return? Well, I have some big news to share, and I couldn't wait. Big news? Don't keep us in suspense. Okay, here it is. I'm going to be a parent. Wow, congratulations. That's incredible news. That's amazing. You're going to be an awesome parent. I can't believe I'm going to be an aunt slash uncle. This is fantastic news. Do you know if it's going to be a boy or a girl? We're keeping it a surprise for now. Adds to the excitement, you know. Well, we're definitely going to need to plan a baby shower soon. And I suppose we'll have to come up with a bunch of baby names to suggest. Thanks for being here for this, everyone. It means a lot to me. Absolutely. Your support makes this even more special. Family and friends coming together for good news, what more could we ask for? To new beginnings and the joy that a little one brings. Cheers. This calls for a celebration. I might not be the one expecting, but I feel like this is a celebration for all of us. I couldn't agree more. I'm lucky to have such an amazing support system. Honestly, not yet. It feels like there's so much to consider. Well, when you're ready, we can all pitch in with ideas. I've heard there are some incredible themes out there. And Taylor, get ready to be the coolest aunt slash uncle ever. 
You'll need to start practicing your baby lullabies. I'll do my best, but no promises on my singing skills. As long as there's love in the lullaby, that's all that matters. Here's to Taylor, the soon-to-be coolest aunt slash uncle. To Taylor. It's incredible how life changes, and new chapters begin. It's both exciting and a little nerve-wracking, but with such an amazing support system, I feel more confident. And with Taylor around, I'm sure that kid is going to have the coolest aunt slash uncle ever. I'll do my best to be the fun and supportive aunt slash uncle. What's going on here? Did we miss a party? Surprise! We have some big news to share. Congratulations. This is wonderful news. It's a party now. We were just celebrating the newest member of the family. To expanding families and the love that keeps growing. To, to family, family and love. love. We're so thrilled for you. When is the little one due? We're expecting in the spring. It's still sinking in, but we're over the moon. Looks like we need to plan a spring-themed baby shower. Flower decorations and pastel colors, anyone? Count me in. It sounds adorable. I can't wait to spoil this little one. Aunt slash Uncle Taylor is ready for action. We're so lucky to have such a supportive family and amazing friends. Here's to the newest member of our big, loving family. To, to the, the little, little one. one. Have you started thinking about baby names? We have a few ideas, but nothing set in stone. We want it to be a joint decision and maybe a little surprise. Well, if you need suggestions, we've got plenty. We can organize a brainstorming session. Just don't let Taylor come up with any wild names. They're more than friends, they're family. We've been through thick and thin together. It's clear that the bonds run deep. I'm glad to be part of this circle. Time flies, doesn't it? Feels like just yesterday we were stressing over exams. To life's beautiful surprises and the journey ahead. To surprises and journeys. Since I got home, it feels like everything has changed. People seem colder towards me. Chris, why aren't you as cheerful as usual today? What's up, Chris? You seem a bit down. Oh, nothing, just a bit tired, that's all. Today, let's try a new game, but Chris, what do you like? Oh, it's fine. I'll let you all decide. Are you sure everything's okay? It seems like people are avoiding Chris. Is there something going on? Chris, share something with us. We're friends, after all. I feel like people are treating me differently ever since I opened up about my family issues. We shouldn't judge others based on their family circumstances. Chris, I apologize if anything made you feel excluded. Exactly, we're friends, and we should support each other. If you want to talk about your family issues, we'll listen. Thank you, everyone. It feels like things are getting back to normal. Let's always respect and support each other. Family is not just a shelter, but also our strength. The end. Story 4 Hey sweetie. Yes, dad. You're gonna have stepmom. I know, dad. Why do you know? I guess, this is the 15th stepmom in this year, dad? No no, you're wrong. She's your 16th stepmom. He he he. I just hid one from you. Whatever, dad. In mind, after all, I hid who might be at this from Okert. Oh, Hee hee. I'm so happy when seeing your reaction, sweetie. Thank you for always supporting me. Hello. Hey, honey. Let's me introduce you to my daughter. Okay. Bay, this is Mia, my sweetie. She is so kind and caring. Hello, Auntie Grace. Oops. You can call me mom from now on. I will try, I guess. It's up to you. By the way, this is my princess, Stella, and she's 11 years old. Hi, Dad. Nick to meet you. You're so cute, like your mom. Thanks. You can call my sissy, Stella. 
I'm 14 years old, I'm older than you. Then Mia, let's show her her bedroom. Okay dad. And hey sis, follow me. At Stella's room. This is your room, Stella. E.W. It's so ugly. Hey, you should be grateful for that. I said dad that I wanted a bedroom full or unicorns. Bruh. Shut the fuck up. Musty rusty dusty bitch. I'm older than you, and you know what? Spit it out, bitch. I'm gonna beat your ass. Stop act like my sis. You bitch. And you know what? I'm gonna beat your ass. Try your beat. And good luck for you. Yeah. Is it not hurt, right? I'm telling my mom. Okay, bye brat. Mommy. What's wrong, my princess? Mom, she beat my ass. Well, that was what your whack asshole wanted. Not my sweetie, but your. Shut up, step sh asterisk tur. Hey, girls. What's going on here? I'm so disappointed about your daughter. What happened? She was so mean to me and my princess. Hey, I'm not. Tell me what happened. I. Stop it. Let Stella say it. Sis was showing me my bedroom and I was so surprised because it was nice. But I want unicorns. Then she was mad at me and pooched me. See my ass, dad. It's hurt. Is it true? No. Yes. Hmm. Dad. Please trust me. I would never lie to you. Okay. I will check the cameras. Oh shit. You have cameras in my room? Just in the hallway. Thank God. Hey honey. Ignore it. This is the first time and I think Mia didn't mean to do it. You're so kind, honey. Yes, dad. It's too late now, you girls should go to bed. Good night, dad and mom. Good night, dad and mom. Good night, kiddos. The next day. Oh my god. Today's my birthday. Hey, B.A. Kiss what is it, honey? It's Mia's birthday and I decorated all of these things for her. And? Thank you so much, dad. You're the best. Here you are. Your gifts. Can I open it? Yes, of course. Woohoo. An iPhone 15 Pro. Unbelievable. One more thing, sweetie. Check it. Wait a sec. No way, Dad. Yes. I bought a Porsche for you. Oh my god. What the fuck? I'm so fucking excited, Dad. Love you the most. Hey. Darling. How about me and Stella? Yes, Dad. I have nothing. It's my birthday, not yours. Shut up, rat. Don't be rude to her, Stella. Here you are, sweetie. I heard you said that unicorn is your dream toy. Damn it. It's too cheap. Be grateful, okay? Sure, I guess. Give it to Stella quickly, rat. Why I have to do that? Never. Slap how could you be rude to me? Cause you don't deserve any respect. You better shut up. Give all of them to Stella. No. Do it or you're grounded. I will tell my dad. What's wrong, Mia? Nothing, honey. Dad. Grace forced me to give all my birthday's gifts to Stella. I think that Stella was so poor, then I. But I just bought her an iPad last week. Remember being nice to Mia or we're breaking up, Grace. Okay. I'm sorry babe. I need your help for cooking dinner. Yes. I gotta leave now. Now it's me only. I'm gonna talk to my baba boy on Tinder. Hey baby girl. Hey Dan Baba Boy. I almost forgot asking how old you are. 
I'm 19 years old. And I'm 20. Wanna hang out with me? Sorry, I can't. Stella, what are you doing there? I gotta go now. I'll be right back. Stella, you're acting so weird. Nothing, Dad. So why did you hide your iPad? I just want to make a surprise for Mia. I thought you hated her, ugh, never mind. You must be tired, Dad. You should go to bed. Okay. Good night, Stella. Yes. Phew. <coughs> hey babe, I'm back. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Let's do a face reveal, <coughs> babe. No. <coughs> I mean why yes. <coughs> In my town now, I have to find a pitch on Pinterest real quick. Um. <coughs> I'm so ugly, right? <coughs> No, you're stunning like a fairy. Oh my god. Thanks. Then my turn. Oh my god. I need you, I want you. LMAO. So let's meet up. I will think about it. You know what my parents just bought a Porsche for me. Whoa so cool. Then I wanna hang out with you by it. Um. Okay. So you can pick me up at the mall tomorrow. Agree. The next morning. Good morning, girls. Morning, dad. Morning, dad. Let's have breakfast, guys. Thank you for it, hey mom. You're so sweet, my princess. Bruh. Dad, I will go to the mall with my friends by my new car. Okay. And can you please give me $50? I will give you $100. Oh my god. Thank you, dad. You're the best. I also want to go to the mall. Okay, so Mia will go with you. He he he. Whatever. A few minutes later. Aha. Uh -huh. What's happened? So annoying. Where's my Porsche? Woohoo. It's stolen. Shut the fuck up, musty rusty dusty bitch. Dad, I can't find my new car. Let's check the cameras. In my dad, I made him broken yesterday, because I met my BF in front of my gate. Oops. Someone broken them. We need call the cops. Ugh, I will go to the mall alone, guys. Okay, sweetie. After all, it's not your car. Hee hee hee. There's only you understanding me, mom. You are not allowed to go anywhere. What? You stole my car, right? It's you, who did all of these shit. Hey, girl. Be careful with your words. Yes, my daughter would never do that. Are you sure? Whisper Stella, you didn't do it, right? Mom, I never do it. Sai yes. I'm sure for 100%. Hey, Mia. Calm down. I gotta go. Bye, guys. At the mall. Oops. Wait a sec. Is that him? Woohoo. He's so handsome. But wait a sec. His car is so familiar. I saw it before. Oh shit. It's Mia's new car. No, no. I have to check it. Hey Dan Baba boy. Have you come yet? Yes. You're standing next to the new Porsche? Yes, it's me. I saw you, but I have to go to the restroom for some minutes. Okay. I will wait you. Oh shit. So my online boyfriend is a thief? I have to call Mia. Mia? What? I knew where your car is. You knew? Go to the mall right now. Okay. Hayes. I can't believe that can happen to me. 30 minutes later. Finally, she came. Oops. I can't hear anything. What does bastard intend to do with my sis? What the fuck? How you dare? Stop it. Ouch. Help me. Bay. 
You better shut up. Who is your babe? You're thief and you deserve a ton of punches and slaps. Enough, Stella. Don't be rude. Hey Mia. You now need to respect a thief. Stella. You know her? No. You're liar. Be nice to him, he's my boyfriend. Oh my god. Now way. My online boyfriend is my sis's boyfriend. What are you saying? You said to me that you're 19. Sorry, it's a lie. He he he. Wait wait. You have a girlfriend, who is my sister. But you went on Tinder to find another girl. You even stole my sis's car to pick that girl up. Hey hey, sis. You should break up with this bastard. Daniel. I can't believe that you lied to me all the time. Shit. Yeah. Look at me, I'm so handsome. I did ever to have two or even more GFs. What the fuck? Sis, don't discourage me in beating that sucker. I won't. I will be on your side. Finally, he's gone. Yeah. You deserve someone better, sis. I think so. But you called me what? Ugh, nothing. Thank you so much, Stella. You aren't not bad like I thought. You too, sissy. Let's go home. But sis, please don't tell my mom that I online dated with a thief. I bet that I would be grounded without my iPad. I promise. I hid I have a BF from dad, so. Ha ha ha. I got it, sis. Dad. We're back. Oh my god. You guys are here. Are you okay, sweetie? I'm fine, mom. You found your car. Yes, dad. We just want to prank you both. Hee <laughs> hee. And it's so funny. Oh my god. No, girls. It's not funny. Stella, let's go to my room and play dolls together. Yes, sissy. Hey Han, I heard something wrong. I don't know. What happened to them? What happened to our daughters? The end. Story 5 Danielle, can we talk? Danielle Hey Leah. Oh I have something to tell you. Yeah me too. Okay. Should we say it at the same time? We can't be friends anymore, sorry. Wait what, why? Um, well. It's because, my parents don't want me to have any distractions from my school work. Oh well. I guess that's understandable. Do you really have to unfriend me though? We can still talk when. You just said it was understandable. So why are you trying to make me stay? I have to leave you. I'm sorry, Dan. I'll miss you. You are right, I'm sorry. I'll miss you to Leah. Wow, I can't believe this. She was my best friend. And it was our five-year friendship anniversary today. I was gonna ask if she remembered. Well I guess I should change this outfit. Since we won't be matching anymore. This is nice. Um. Maybe I should just play my favorite game to take my mind off this. But I always used to play that with Leah, that won't help. I guess I'll just play out this random obby. She joins. How do you keep falling this one is so easy lmao. It's not my fault. Ha. Huh. I keep falling on this one too. See this girl is struggling too. I'm not waiting for you any longer Aiden. Ah. Uh, I totally understand. If not but you guys seem really funny. Do you think I could join your friend group? Oh, yeah. Sure. We'll have to check with our other friend first though. That's fine. Hey Leah. This girl wants to join our group chat. Is that okay? Oh, yeah. Sure. No problem. Leah. 
I thought you had to leave. This is amazing. I really didn't want to lose you. Um, what? Oh haha you probably don't recognize me since I changed my avatar. It's me Danielle. Why didn't you tell me you didn't have to go? What are you talking about? Do you know her or something? No. Yes you do. You're even wearing our matching outfits still. No. I think you're mistaking me for someone else. I've never met you before. Well um it's fine. Let's just forget about this and pick a game. No, uh, actually guys. I don't think Danielle can stay. But you just said she could. Yeah, sorry. I just realized the chat would be too full if you joined Danielle. There would only be four of us though. Um, okay fine. I didn't want to say this, but I don't like Danielle. She's acting really weird. And I'm not comfortable with her being here. I'm acting weird. Whatever. I don't want to be here with you anyway. You know you could have just told me if you didn't want to be friends anymore instead of making up all these lies about your schoolwork and stuff. Um, see, I told you guys she's acting really strange. I don't even know her. I'm not even gonna try prove myself. Guys, what is actually going on here? Nothing. Can we just speak in private for a second, Danielle? Fine. What was that? I have no idea. They definitely know each other. Hopefully, they'll explain when they get back. Yeah, but how will we know if one of them is lying? I know this sounds bad. But maybe we should, well, spy on them? Isabella, we can't do that. It's wrong. I know, but it's important. We need to know who's in the right. So we pick the right person. Um, yeah fine. I guess you're right. I can't believe I'm doing this. It's fine EEE. -E -E. Let's go. Well you didn't really give me a choice. You're so sensitive. I didn't want to make you upset by leaving you. That's not the reason. You just didn't want to seem like a bad person for leaving me without reason. Just leave me alone. Go have fun with your new friends. I'm sure I'll find another group to join. Ha, huh, yeah right, like anyone's gonna want to be friends with you. Don't come crying back to my friend group thinking. I'll let you in our chat when you can't find anyone. I wasn't planning to. You know what? I'm glad you finally know how I feel about you. You're so annoying. I should have just told you the truth in the first place. So I'd never have to see you again. Wow. Wait, Isabella. And Aiden? What are you doing here? Well, we knew something was wrong, so we came to, um... Spy. Aiden. We weren't spying, we were just worried about you guys. So you do know each other? Um, yeah. Leah, why would you say that stuff to her? And you lied to get out for the friendship. Because you didn't have the courage to actually tell her the truth. It's like you're a completely different person. No. No guys. You've only heard half the story. Listen. I think we've heard enough. I'm sorry Leah, but I've had fake friends before. And I can't deal with that again. I'm going back to the chat. I think you should stay here Leah. Yeah me too. Great. So now you're going to steal my friends. I hope you're happy. You always ruin everything. I thought leaving you would stop that. But I guess not. Steal your friends? They didn't even invite me to the chat. So why would I just join them? Well that was great. Guess I can't be friends with them. Wow. Well didn't expect that. Yeah, at least we know what she was actually like I guess. I feel kinda bad for Danielle though. Me too. But I feel like it would've been weird if we invited her to join us like that. I'm sure she'll find some friends. Yeah. Well do you wanna play a game? That will probably take our minds off all this. 
They join him too. You exposed my hiding spot. It's fine. I got the murderer before she got you. Hey, you guys are really good. Oh, haha, ha, thanks. I'm Veronica. Wanna be friends? Oh, um. I'm sorry, you seem really nice. But we literally just met a new person earlier. And it didn't go well, so. Oh, well, that's fine. I totally understand. Bye. Wait, maybe we could give it another chance? Okay, I guess. I'm Aiden. I'm Isabella. I knew it. I just knew you would go to Danielle II. I left to invite her back. You probably guessed I was coming so you asked her to change her outfit. Well, you did a terrible job. I can still tell that's you, Danielle. You're literally dressed in the exact same style. What are you doing here, Leah? We told you to leave. And this isn't even Danielle. This is Veronica. Hi. Yeah, sure it is. So when I check her user, it won't say D4NI underscore 3 LLE, no? Yeah, go ahead and check. See, it says, oh, um, okay, whatever. So she's not Danielle. But it doesn't matter. You guys are still replacing me already. Um, can someone explain what just happened? Aiden, Isabella and Veronica became really good friends. Danielle ended up meeting a new friends group and none of them ever heard from Leah again. The end.